Hi everyone, this is Jonathan. Welcome to another episode of Look What I Found Yesterday. Um, we're here at MWC in Barcelona. Had a great few days here. Uh, lots of interesting conversations. Uh, lots of uh, cool stuff going on at MWC. But what I want to talk to you about is what I saw yesterday. Uh, so we brought one of our uh, our SXM nodes with us to Barcelona. We had it in the uh, uh, in our booth here um, in operation. It scanned the environment, as as you know that it does. Hopefully you know that. Uh, scanned the environment, found all of the local operators, all of their local cells, all of the base stations, everything that we could see there in uh, in the hall. Very very interesting. So we saw Orange, we saw Vodafone, we saw Telefonica, we saw Yoigo. Uh, uh, we saw all of their base stations, base station identifiers. Uh, we saw which cells are on, which frequencies they're using, the bandwidths, uh, whether they're standalone or non-standalone, fully characterizing all of their uh, their infrastructure here here in the hall. What was interesting, um, in addition to that, of course, what was also interesting is we saw a base station showing up that was one of the demonstrators' base stations. Someone somewhere in the hall had their base station turned on. It was identifying itself as MCC-999, which is experimental or lab-based uh, base station. That's a general purpose identifier uh, for a base station. We saw its node B. We saw its power levels. We saw the frame structures. It was TDD. It was operating at 3709 megahertz. That was the center, uh, center frequency, 100 megahertz wide. That's all interesting. They were demonstrating their uh, their technology. I'm sure it was. Uh, I'm sure they all had a great show too. What was probably less interesting for Vodafone is that that transmission was on top of their 5G uh, network here at uh, MWC. So as a consequence of that traffic, Vodafone had no 5G signal uh, that would be accessible to users here at MWC, or at least in that hall. Um, so we were able to identify that particular uh, uh, base station that uh, for Vodafone, we were able to identify the base station that was causing the, the transmission. Um, very cool. You know, we dug down deep, uh, identified all this stuff. Now, the relevance to this for real world is in a typical cross-border interference application. So here I am on in country A, got seeing all the networks. There are transmissions coming from country B on the other side of the border. Usually that's okay. Usually things are managed okay so that there's minimal interference between the two networks. What ha can happen quite frequently though, unfortunately, is that the settings on the other side of the border uh, in some way are incompatible with what's happening over here. Particularly common with N78, uh, 5G transmissions in the 3.5 gigahertz because they're TDD. The frame structures on this side of the border need to match the frame structures over there. Unfortunately, it's all too common that they don't match. So we would see the interference on here. We see the base stations on this side. We see the base stations on that side. We see that N78 base station that is transmitting across the border with a too high power. We see its frame structure. We see that there is a conflict. We identify that base station. We call up the operator of that base station, ask them politely to turn down their antenna, turn down their power levels, problem solved. So, very interesting. Um, again, um, had, a, had a great time here. We'll try to show you some of the, uh, or we're showing you some of the data that we, uh, that we collected here. Please give us, a, uh, give us a call, contact us on any of our socials uh, down here, and uh, love to talk to you some, uh, some more about this. Take care for now. We'll see you next time.